What is going on with Disney? Do you have you been following this yes. story? You're usually very up on these media stories. Well, a member of the Disney board resigned. Two have now. Right. Well, two. You have one recently. Both of them within the last couple of days. Right. And the the person you're talking about was an actual Disney, the last member of the family. Is he allowed to do that? Yes. It, well, actually, he was sort of forced off because there's a, I guess, something in the bylaws say that at a certain age you can't be on the board, and he I passed see. that age. Well, I guess they disagree with uh, Michael Eisner running the company. They also don't like Bob Iger. I remember that whole controversy. There's a whole thing going on, but I think this boils down to. Um, they don't like the guy running the company. Yeah, but it's, I've never heard of you leaving the company because you don't like the person running the company if it's your company. <laughs> yeah, you, that, usually you would stay in. <laughs> yeah, fight for your company. But uh, these guys have decided to leave and encourage him to leave with them. That was no. an interesting move. Bob Iger's no longer with Disney, is he? I don't think so. All right. But that was what, Dis you know, uh, whatever the guy's name is, Roy Disney. Roy Disney. Now, he Roy now, Disney, I used to work for him. Uh, did you? Yes. And he doesn't know anything. He stood up and he said, you know what, I'm leaving. And I would encourage uh, Michael Eisner to leave, too. The station I worked for in Detroit where overnight they, they pulled in trucks and made it go country. Yes. From a rock station. That was the Roy Disney station? Yeah, Shamrock Broadcasting was the broadcasting. I think that was Roy Disney. <laughs> Someone told me I worked for Roy Disney, so I've always figured he didn't know anything because I got screwed. But, well. yeah, he's apparently had some problems with Michael Eisner for a couple of years now, and he does not appreciate what uh, is going on with the company's bottom line. Well, you know who else is threatened to leave? What? Who? Uh, Goofy. <laughs> Mickey is walking. <laughs> yeah, but Goofy. I've never heard of somebody saying, I invite you to leave with me because I'm leaving. That's no, I don't think that's a tactic that works. I'll show you. I'm leaving. <laughs> You've tried that with me. Sometimes we'll get an argument. You go, okay, I'm leaving. No, but I don't tell you to leave, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know who did that test? Jackie. Jackie left. Yes. But did he tell us to leave? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone, and you should go. <laughs> Stuttering John said he was jogging the other day, and he saw Jackie, and both of them didn't look at each other, and they, they ran the other way. Yeah, I thought about that later, and I said, that's bizarre behavior. Yeah, I don't get that. Here's John's report on it. And Bob Iger is still at the station. Oh, he is. With uh, Disney. It, it's just weird how, like, me and my wife were talking about, you know, we were really close friends with Jackie and Nancy. Right. And then, like... Which I couldn't even understand. And then when, then when Jackie left the show, it's just like, that's it. You know, you know, you know, Nancy stopped calling Susanna, and uh, and Jackie stopped calling me. Like, boom, it was over. So, so it was just strange, and now it's just like. So what happened? You were jogging. Well, the last time I saw Jackie, I him? had a party at my house, and someone else, a mutual friend, brought Jackie to my house. I didn't even tell him about it because I, I had tried a bunch of times to mm -hmm. chat to the guy, and he doesn't call. Me. So, so then, uh, so, so so while Jack was there, I go, "Oh, Jack, I'm surprised you're here. I, I you know, I I thought you didn't like me anymore." And he just went, "Eh." And that, yeah. and, and that was it. And I was like, all right, well. That was the in, entire extent of your conversation? Yeah. And then, like, and then I had a conversation with him prior to that where I thought that we would, you know, I was like, come on, let's, let's get together. And he's like, eh, yeah. So I just kind of thought that, I just kind of think that in, to him, I'm not just in his, you know, world anymore. So then, so when I saw him, I just, I was jogging. I didn't want to stop jogging. And I just, and we just, I just shook right past. And you didn't wave you to didn't him? Wave or... <laughs> no. And he didn't wave to you? <laughs> no. Mine. Were there tears in his eyes? No. Oh, all right. That's odd. I mean, I would wave and say hi. Well, I love Jackie. I mean, he yeah. was a good friend. I mean, you know, we both live in the same town. I mean, he's just... hugging Arnie. Yeah, yeah, he talks to Arnie. Well, there was press around. <laughs> there was. <laughs> but I think he really cut off, even because he used to be friends with Gary as well, and he doesn't, you know, get in touch with Gary either anymore. No. Maybe the pain is too great. I can't imagine why you, though, would run by and not speak. Well, I didn't want to stop jogging. You can still say hi. Exactly. Say, uh, 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 hey, man. <laughs> I, I just, uh, after I had my party when he was like, eh, I was just like, all right, well, right. eh to you, too. Yeah, eh, yeah, okay. I yeah. get it. You know what I mean? Okay. So, eh, um, every time eh, you say, eh, eh. Could you, could you, I know it's been a long time, but can you, eh, <laughs> me a lunch. <laughs> he stuck a lot longer than he stuck with me, I'll tell you that, because... 
he called me maybe two months after the whole thing went down, and he's like, you know, listen, this is what happened. And we talked on the phone for like an hour. I got his end of it. Yeah. What and was then, his end of it? It's a, you know what, it's just, I, we talked about something before. It's just so sad. Yeah. His end of it was that he never got an ultimatum from anybody. <laughs> I swear to God. He left. And, and I, he didn't get it. He said, he said, like, at one point, the guy, I guess... I, 20 the, times I spoke to him, I said, if you don't come back, I've got to go right. get someone else. The company, the company How said... How much more of an ultimatum do you need? The company told him... The when deal, you leave a job... What, what, I never right. got an ultimatum. But it was funny, because, you know, the company told him, this is the date, this is it. Right. That's, that's, that's an ultimatum. Like an ultimatum. And, and after an hour of Jackie and I talking and everything, I said, you know, Jackie, I talked to Howard, I talked to the owner of the company, I talked to everybody. They all insist that there was a date. And he goes, he, he paused for a minute. He goes, well, you know, they could be right. There were so many of those over the years. Who knew? Mm-hmm. You know, like, like, it was weird. But he, he really didn't, he didn't see your end of it. You know what I mean? He sort of like, like we fired him. Wow. So where is Sh- shocking. He left the station. You know, that is as bizarre as the Roy Disney yeah. thing. They offered him money, good money, from what I hear. He, 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 he turned it down, said, I'm not coming in anymore. I'm gone. I called him a couple times. He goes, is this for real? You're really not coming and he back? he said, I'm ready to stop, what? right? Yeah, he goes, I, I, it doesn't really matter to me. He says, I'm telling you, I don't need I the job. I want to do some other things now. And, and that, that was it. And then I just, I, I took, and then I waited a couple of months to see if he'd come back, and he didn't. That was the end of it. See, the thing the audience needs to know is that Jackie had done that move several times before. So I think in his mind... Oh, he could just keep doing it over and over. But I think that when he was, I think that in his mind, he was having a work stoppage. But I, in our I, mind, I'll he was tell you gone. what. I had a conversation with him, and I said, "Jackie, no kidding around. I'm hiring another guy." See, he didn't. He didn't know that. No. What? How could he not know that if he's Aww. talking to him? I said, "I have to go. I have to go take care of my business. This is my business." And he went, "Do what you have to do. Do what you got to do." Because even months later, I know that he saw the guy in the garage, and the guy in the garage said, "Hey, you know, it's too bad or whatever." Jackie goes, "You know, it ain't over yet." But it was like yeah. way over, and that's the weird thing. He's still parked downstairs. Like, how odd is that? I mean, you know, he doesn't want to talk to any of us, but he's gonna like be so in the same garage. I've never run into him. That's what I'm shocked you haven't, because I just that just is where I saw him. I was driving right past the garage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he and I had decided we were gonna get together for lunch at some point, hmm. and um, you know, he would email me like, "Let's get together for lunch." I was like, "Okay, pick a date," and I wouldn't hear back from him. Then like six months later, "Hey, let's get together for lunch." I'm like, "Great, when?" Wouldn't hear back from him. And then I haven't spoken to him, or no. anybody even knows him for well over two years now. Yeah, and that's the same with like all, like the E guys too, right? I mean, it's just everyone he just kind of just cut off. But I guess it's maybe very painful for him. Absolutely, you know. It's the best thing that ever happened to him. I told him that. I said, "This is the best thing that ever." Happened. Yeah, yeah, sure. We all tried to tell him. Yeah, well, you know what? I could be doing a lot of other things. I could punch up scripts. Yeah, I could be in Hollywood. I mean, the show probably held me back. Holding me back. Held me back. <laughs> Hello, Spielberg. <laughs> I'm free now. No one's holding me back. Tell the great thing is, Howard, on the phone. Yeah. is when Jackie left, he always, like, Benji and like a lot of money for the food that Benji got. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh. Like, how much? Benji, how much do you think the total is? <laughs> Probably a couple thousand, but it's not. <laughs> is that true? A couple of thousand? No way. <laughs> no, really, what is it? Not really. No, 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 he's being serious. He's serious. He is. Yeah. What, what's but a it's couple pr- of thousand? That's probably my fault. It I, is Benji. I'm just going crazy with the bills and I start to add them up. You know what? <laughs> Benji paid for breakfast for like two years for everyone. Yes. And just didn't get around to billing anyone. <laughs> so he finally billed everyone, but it was after Jackie left. Wow. Well, no, I still have to add some of them up. <laughs> John owes, Fred owes, and actually Robin, you owe also. Good, Jimmy that must have been from years, years ago. It's five yeah. years old, Robin. At some point, I think it's grandfathered in. <laughs> all right, i got to finish the news because we got to get out of here. Crazy. So uh, let's well. let Robin do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, um, i got a break. Okay, no. we'll be back right after this.